So before I quit Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links to become a Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel YouTuber, as you can see, we got to review the new mini box that's going to be coming out on December 9th called Force of Avenity before I quit Duel Links for December. Because for all of you guys to not take a look at my community post, I am going to be mostly making content on the new Rush Duel game, and I'm mostly going to be only talking about the new stuff like this for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, because bro... I need a break from this game but well, i'll tell you what duel links wants me to continue playing their game because while i do not care about the mech lord stuff because honestly mech lord is just resident sleeper where's my girl misty added into the game we still got some other cool cars we got some new audit support and a bunch of other cool stuff to take a look at in today's video so if you guys are excited for this new mini box review you guys know what to do leave a like on today's video for my homie pablo i have not mentioned my boy pablo but he's still doing well still hanging out with the fine ladies at the pet smart so for all of you guys that are worried about pablo Leave a like for my boy Pablo. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Like I said, Rush Duel content coming soon. But shout outs aside, let's get back in today's box review. And first things first, we're going to take a look at Mechlord Astro. I don't even know what to call this card. All I know is it's the boss monster of Aporia. Aporia is going to be the next uh, character being added into Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. As far as I know, he's not unlockable. No, he is unlockable. Anna's the one that's not unlockable. But yeah, he'll be the next character that's going to get added into Duel Links. And this is his ace monster that's going to be the ace card in the box. This card cannot be normal summon slash set. Must be special summoned from your hand by sending three Mechlord monsters from your hand to the graveyard. Once per turn, you can target a Synchro monster opponent controls. Equip that target to this card. This card gains attack equal to the combined attack of the monsters equipped to it by this effect. Once per turn during your standby phase you can send one of these equipped monsters to control of the graveyard and inflict damage to your opponent equal to half that monster's original attack you cannot conduct a battle phase your turn you activate this effect and this guy has a whopping 4,000 attack and defense bro i need to get a drink of water after reading that whole cards text <laughs> Oh my goodness. So this guy's just basically big beat stick. It has the Mechlord shenanigans where you can suck up a monster if as long as your opponent controls the Synchro Monster. And then you can also make it or give it this card a boost after you suck up that Synchro Monster. So if you suck up a Stardust, it'll become 6,500 attack. Big Pog. And then also during your standby phase, you can send one of those equipped monsters to inflict damage to your opponent for equal to half the monster's original attack. Cool. So basically what you want to do is you summon this card, suck up your opponent's Synchro Monster, try to OTK them or inflict as much damage as possible. And then uh, if they don't die by this boss monster on your next standby phase, if they don't get rid of this monster, you just sack off the Synchro Monster you sucked up. And then you'll be able to just finish off your opponent for game. It's kind of the how this card works. But the problem is, I mean, Cyber Slash is a card that you can target with this card. But the requirements against this guy is just too much by sending three Mech Lords from your hand in the graveyard. Like, it's not impossible. So you'll see some people cheesing this guy out. But again, it's going to be just... Mech Lord is just an awkward archetype. So I don't know how well it's going to pop off. And you're not guaranteed to always go against the Synchro deck. Because I think Harpies are the only really Synchro deck on, uh, in the game right now and so harpies could just bounce back this card back to your hand anyways because this guy has no immunity to target effects so it's just a cool big boss monster and that's it but yeah you can just bounce it back with harpies and every other meta deck in the game for the most part doesn't really use synchro monsters so not a good archetype it's a good card but not gonna save the archetype it's just it's just a, it's just a hassle it's just a hassle to get this boss monster out but moving on though let's go baby only reason why i'm gonna go into this box is for odd eyes meteor burst dragon one of my og cards from that pendulum structure deck that added the or the odd eyes and the magician support this guy is one of the cards that's in this structure deck and oh my goodness i'm happy to see this guy in this box alongside some other cool stuff too like noble dragon magician that we'll talk about soon in today's video but yeah odd eyes and meteor burst dragon is a level seven fire dragon synchro effect monster it takes one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters so it's a generic level seven big thumbs up uh when this card is special summoned you can target one card in your pendulum zone special summon it also this card cannot attack for the rest of the turn you can only use this effect to as mirror burst dragon once per turn monsters in your opponent's possession cannot activate their effects during the battle phase so it's a solid level seven guy and i don't think right now he's going to be that good he's only really good if you have the other like support in the game or the only real reason why you want to use this guy is just for combo extending because uh, being able to special summon your pendulum zones back onto the field will allow you to either go into an overlay of a level seven or um yeah you can either overlay into like a level seven if you use the like dragon pit magician dragon pulse magicians pendulum out your uh tuners and whatnot summon it to meteor burst dragon and then use meteor burst dragon to bring a level seven pendulum monster from your pendulum zone onto the field and overlay there's a lot of cool combos that this guy has but i don't think right now he's going to be top tier yet i think Ana is going to be one of those decks that eventually will be really good but konami's going to take forever Ever and milk us dry uh trying to get all the support in before we can even use this card properly just for my first impressions here because i i know I'm, my words are all over the place but i i genuinely think it's just not good right now but it's a cool combo extender for um you know synchro summoning but hey the fact that this guy during your battle phase opponents can't activate any effects 
that's pretty cool so i do like that you can negate monster effects during the battle phase but yeah until we get some combos going with him with other pendulum support he won't see play but he definitely will see play in the future um once we get like more magician support and stuff like that but so good card i just don't think it's gonna be that good right now next up we finally have abyss actor superstar and konami what did Silvio do to deserve to not have this as his ace monster in his own box, bro? Like, Konami deadass was like, you know what, boys? Obviously, Mechlord mini box, baby. That's all you need in life, dude. Mechlord mini box, bro. Screw Abyss actors. But we're not going to talk about this guy too much. You can already access this card by using Silvio and Duel Links and using his main skill. So there you go right there if you need help unlocking him i got a tutorial on my channel on to unlock him but we're not going to talk about this card moving on gg next we do want to talk a look at is i had never seen this guy this is the first card that i'm like what does this do okay so this guy is a level six it's called orient dragon or orient dragon i don't know how to pronounce this guy's name i cannot read if this card is synchro summoned you can target one synchro monster opponent controls and banish that target I mean cool in a synchro meta that'd be nice but um yeah i mean it's it's a little rank or a little level six toolbox to get rid of like harpy lady i guess but again not every deck in the game uses synchro monsters i don't know maybe we'll get a synchro meta soon but obviously it's themed for aporia it's obviously a good synchro that's kind of themed with synchros for it's just like hey i don't want to deal with synchros bounce that back but uh yeah i, I don't think this card's gonna see too much play because not every deck in the game plays uh synchros moving on mechlord emperor weissel synchro absorptions I I also did talk about this before um in one of my videos this guy is kind of like a whatever so in order to special summon this card and the only way you can special summon this card is by bouncing a face-up mechler monster that's on your field to special summon this card from your hand and then after you special summon this card you can target a monster opponent controls and then it cannot attack for the rest of the turn and then when a card or effect is activated that would destroy a card in the field you can tribute this card and negate the activation if you do destroy it basically this card is just kind of a support card where you just get rid of one of your weaker mechlord monsters on the board sack it off for a synchro absorption and then just be able to have a negate on the board while also stopping one of your opponent's monsters from attacking so it's just a decent support card and that's about it it doesn't really suck up any synchro monsters if i'm being honest it's just again it's just a support card for the mech lord archetype but again the only problem that this guy has though is that it only negates destruction effects it doesn't negate the target effects so i don't know mech lords are still kind of doo-doo <laughs> they low-key are still kind of doo-doo except that we have ooh card i don't know about mech lord army deplorer obligato i don't know how to pronounce this card's name why does every single one of these mech lord monsters have the weirdest names level four light machine effect monster during your main phase you can activate this effect destroy this card and if you do special summon two mech lord army monsters from your deck in defense position huge that's very cool and i wonder if you could summon desperado with this let me know in the comment section down below because that would actually be pretty spicy if you could and then um after um you also cannot special summon monster for the turn except machine monsters word this card is sent to the graveyard you can activate this effect during the end phase of this turn you can inflict 50 damage to your opponent for each mechler monster control you only can use each effect of this card once per turn so again this guy's just spam on the board the only reason why i say that this is good though is because you get to literally pop this card and then summon two monsters from your deck in defense position is there any decent like machine exceeses let's take a look so we do got plenty of like exceeds monsters but the only problem is unless there's level fives if there's cool level five uh mech Lord monsters maybe you can cheese out a nova that'd be hilarious but again i think the only ones you can are really gonna go into is probably like level fours because we don't really have that much like mech lords in the game we got level ones we got level threes level fours so yeah you're you're only going to really go into like four threes and one toolbox so any of the like good machine exceeds that we have in the game is you're probably not going to be able to go into yeah i'm like looking at this we have we don't have any level sixes we only got like level fours and none of these guys are really that like good level fours and level threes so that's kind of a bummer i was hoping for a brain blast there but it is what it is i had hope baby i have hope but hey it, you never know maybe we'll get a cracked uh level four rank four machine exceeds monster in the game where you can just cheese it out with this guy that'd be pretty cool because its effects are really good uh this is actually a really good guy because you can just bring out two mechlord army monsters bro she that'd be pretty hype that'd be pretty hype next up though noble dragon magician super cool pendulum tuner monster right here this is a like level three fire and then so it's scale five and then um you can't have it in your scale unless you have a magician monster but the real part that's really cool about this card is that so then yeah so this card is really cool because of the fact that it combos with odd eyes if you have an odd eyes pendulum dragon on your field you can special summon this card from your hand reduce the level of odd eyes pendulum dragon to four and then you can use noble dragon edition and odd eyes pendulum dragon to then go into a level seven synchro summon into meteor burst dragon also you can uh, go into other level seven synchro monsters that are really good in this game so we can go into black rose dragon ancient fairy dragon 
we can go into Exploder Dragon Wing for the memes, and then we can go into Ancient Pixie Dragon. So you can easily cheese out into a Black Rose Dragon or Meteor Burst Dragon with Noble Dragon Magician. Because as long as Odyssey is on the board, you can just uh, level it and lower its level to four and then special some of those cards. And you also can use this card for other synchro summoning too. It's just, if it's not an odd eyes, then it's gonna get sacked back to the bottom of your deck. But yeah, really cool card. Goes to back to the pendulum zone after, or it goes back to your extra deck face up along with odd eyes pendulum dragon after you go for your special summon. It's just a solid card. It's just a solid card. And again, it's not good right now, but it'll be good later when more support comes in. And that's what kind of sucks about the box here is the fact that it's like it's it's there's a lot of good cards in this box but it's not going to be a like meta defining box as far as i can tell like it's going to be a definitely a skip type of box but hey odd is still cool so i'm all for it next up we have a abyss actor support mellow manana don't know how to pronounce this card's name but it is a level seven dark and it's a scale zero that's kind of cool so you can pay a thousand life points add an abyss actor pendulum monster from your deck to your hand except abyss actor mellow also you cannot special summon monster x your turn except abyss actor monsters even this card leaves the field so that's cool it's a scale zero and on top of that too you get the search for an abyss actor that's actually a really good effect it's monster effect states gains 100 attack for each abyss script spell in your graveyard you can use each of this effects of this card once per turn when a pendulum monster you control is destroyed a battle, you can special summon this card from your hand. If an Abyss script spell is activated, you can special summon a 1 level 4 or lower Abyss actor pendulum monster from your deck, but return it to your hand during the end phase. So this card is really cool. It's a searcher. If a pendulum monster gets destroyed, you just summon this card from your hand. And then, yeah, you can uh, be able to add more monsters onto your field and if an Abyss script card gets played. Really good card. That's actually a card that Abyss actors really need in order to be kind of a viable deck. So Abyss actors might be a little bit playable here. That's a really cool. That's a good card. Next up, we have Wild Hope. Very core card for the archetype right here because it's going to be one of your few cards you're going to be able to go in order to be able to uh, go into most of your pendulum summons and it's going to be searchable through Mellow, which is huge. Uh, Wild Hope, I talked about in one of my leaf videos because I got a rarity change, but basically uh, what you can do is that your other Abyss Actor card in your scale, you can um, change its pendulum scale to nine and then you can allow yourself to then go into your high level Abyss Actor monsters, which is really good. So you can put Mellow into your scale, pay a thousand life points, and then add Wild Hope from your deck to your hand, put Wild Hope in your scale, and then change uh, Mellow to a scale nine, and then go into like a summon a superstar and all your other fun guys. So that's really huge. Also, this guy, when it's on the field, you can uh, give this actors a bonus 100 attack for each of them that are on the field. And then when this card destroys a battle or card effect, you can search for an Abyss Actor card. So again, really, really, really good card for the archetype. Again, I'm just ashamed that this card right here literally is just saying, Aporia, baby, let's go! Even though this is obviously uh, Silvio's box. Very disappointing, but hey, good cards. Good cards for his deck, that's for sure. Next up, we got Dynamis. Cool. Dynamis Rex. Dino Mist Rex, level 5 water, scale 6. Once while this card is in your pendulum zone, you can negate the activated card effect that targets another Dino Mist monster or cards you control, then destroy this card. Negates are really nice. Uh, pendulum effect, if this card attacks, at the end of the damage step, you can tribute one other Dino Mist monster, activate one of these effects. This card can attack an opponent's monster again in a row, and if it attacks a defense boosted monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. Shuffle one card from your opponent's hand at random, or their side of the field into the deck and this card gains 100 attack so that's actually kind of cool right here so yeah rax is just here to mess up people so it seems like this deck is the type of deck where if you can get an attack off you're going to get bonus effects from this where you're going to cripple your opponent's resources by sacking off one of your dino miss monsters to then get rid of one of your opponent's cards from the hand back into the deck or being able to attack again as long as it's a monster to flick some damage that's pretty cool that's actually a decent card Again, this is the only SR Dynamis card, though. So, again, I don't think the deck is going to be good because it's the first time I'm seeing it and it's only added in the mini box. So, I doubt we're going to get all the cool Dynamis cards that we need, but Rex is all right. It's it's decent at best. I don't know how much play it's going to see. Hey, we got our boy Santa Claus. I'll tell you what, it took Konami way too long to add this card during Christmas time, but better late than never, Santa Claus is coming to town, baby. Merry Christmas. Level 6 Light Fiend Effect Monster. You can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's side of the field in defense position by tributing one monster they control. If summoned this way, during the end phase of this turn, you can draw one card. So yeah, it's literally just a little mini kaiju, and on top of that, too, you get the draw card. Awesome. Absolutely amazing right there. So yeah, pretty decent card. I can kind of see why it's an SR in the box, but dude, I'm telling you, bro, it took way too long for this guy to get into the game. But hey, I'm going to pull for him, dude. Santa Claus is coming to town, baby. Next up, we have some Mechlord support. 
Uh, when this card is activated, you can add a Mechlord monster from your deck to your hand. Cool. You only can activate Mechlord assembly per turn. You only can use each of the effects of Mechlord assembly once per turn. You can discard one card, target a monster you control, destroy it. If a face-up Mechlord monster you control, destroy a battle or card effect, you can target one other face-up spell and trap around the field, destroy it. Those are some mediocre additional effects. You're only going to be really using this card just to be able to search for Mechlords, but yeah, other than that, you're only going to use its first effect where you discard a card and then target a monster control, destroy it, so you can force summon into one of your bigger Mechlord monsters. That second effect is, like, cool. At least I get to pop a spell and trap card, but again, it's a face-up spell and trap card, so it's 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 a it's a decent card at best. Again, I don't think Mechlord's still going to be a good deck, but hey, I hope they prove me wrong. Next up, we have Dino Mist Charge. When this card is activated, add a Dino Mist monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, if the Dino Mist cards is added from the field to your extra deck face up, add one of those cards to your hand. You only can activate Dino Mist Charge per turn. So this guy's really cool. You get to search for any of your Dino Mist cards and recycle them. That is spicy. That is actually pretty spicy right here. So I kind of see why you sack off resources to play effects with Rex, only just for the allow you to recycle them with charge. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And oh my goodness. We're like low-key kind of done with this box. <laughs> Yo, we're getting mild turkey and ghost beef. Oh, this is the best box in the game. No cap. No cap. No cap. And then let's see. What was your effect again? I want to go back to Mechlord Army. Yeah, Mechlord Army monsters. So yeah, I was hoping that we had some decent uh, Machine Exceeds monsters here so that we can just overlay into some other guys. But nope, that is definitely not happening. But yeah, it looks like we got some Dino Miss support. It looks like Abyss Actors literally have everything. Dude, can we get some justice for uh, Satori? I think that's his name. Silvio? I don't know what his name is in the sub, even though I watched the sub. But yeah, it, this is literally the Abyss Actor box. And they're just like, nah, we're going to make it for Aporia. And we're going to release Aporia around this uh, time, because why not, right? Because obviously, Aporia is the best December character, bro. No cap. But yeah, no, I think that's going to be kind of it right here. Let me know in the comment section down below if there is any decent rare cards that I should have taken a look at. But yeah, just a lot of extra dynamis support and Abyss stuff. I'll put the link in the description down below for this box so you guys can review all the other stuff. But uh, yeah, shout out to Santa Claus. Shout out to good old Meteor Burst Dragon. And thank you so much for watching today's video. Have a good one, guys.